in for Dax Chat today. Um, he's swamped us with a couple meetings, and I know we had problems with Dax Chat yesterday. So instead, I'm here today so that we do not miss another chat. Let's see. No, he's not late. Says Kim Rafter's asking if he's late, but he is not. Uh, I am here. Dun, 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 dun. You got a lot to explain, Dax. I just explained it, though. He's super busy, so unfortunately he can't make the chat today. Let's see. Hello, Dax's hair. Dax's hair must be in the chat. Alpha better. Yes, there was no chat yesterday. He was not watching footy, however. It was just there was a problem with our system, and by the time we got it all working, it was a little late. Uh, so we'll go from there. Let's see. Dax must be one of those guys who did not try and restart or check all if it's plugged in. I know, myself. all by myself. Oh, but aren't you happy I'm back, though? I've been gone for the last three so days. So happy you're back. Yay. I know. I'm back. I'm back. How are you, though? Come talk to me. It's two seconds. My computer just pooped itself, oh, so we've no. been fixing it. I need to go oh, fix goodness. My you need to fix your lipstick. Why? Because you're going to be on the chat no, today? No, it's coming off. No, because I mm. needed to touch up anyway. Uh, Yay, you're back, I know. Kevin. Bye. Uh, how, Mark Guerrero says, how is E3? Um, in case you didn't know, you guys, I've been at E3 for the last three days. That is the Electronic Entertainment Expo in downtown LA. It's where they show off all the new video games and like video game-related tech and everything. And um, it was awesome. I mean, suffice to say, I saw a lot of really cool games, a lot of really cool technology. So, uh, I mean, if you guys have specific questions, I can ask. Uh, not fail whale, do you follow soccer, Brian? Not as much as I used to. Uh, I know the World Cup is going on right now. I am kind of excited to at least check out the highlights because I'm usually just really busy because of work. But um, Colombia, because I am Colombian, actually actually made it to the World Cup. They qualified this year, so I am rooting for my home team. Um, my mother is super excited about it. My mother, my mother was born and raised in Colombia, and she is crazy about soccer. And so I'm sure she's like right now with a beer in her hand, watching the games, just woo cheering. So. I'm happy for her, and I'm happy for like everyone in Colombia and my whole family. They're just so excited for this World Cup more than like any World Cup before. Uh, where's Dax? Is Kim Rafter? He's at a meeting. He's not slacking off, guys. You know, Dax check just kind of happens naturally at one o'clock whenever we can make it happen. And so, you know, unfortunately yesterday, like I said, we weren't able to do it. Uh, but today, you know, Dax could make it. But I'm here because I know you guys really. Uh, some of you look forward to to the chat and uh, talking to us here. Yeah. Uh, let's keep going. If you guys got questions, obviously leave them in the comments. I am here to answer them for you. Hello and happy Friday, says Kim Rafter. Yes, happy Friday indeed. I've been gone, like I said, and now I'm super excited. to. I'm actually kind of excited to be back at work because uh, E3 was kind of crazy. Uh, Jocelyn Fay says, Brian, has Harvey told you or anyone why he hasn't come out with his assumption about OJ until now? Just curious. I actually, I don't know. I saw that over the over the week while I was at E3. I saw that video that Harvey did. I, you know, Harvey's actually full of a lot of interesting stories all the time, and you know, he's been in like the news business for years and years and years and covered that OJ case. So you know, there's always stuff. I mean, there's always a story. He always finds other stories to to tell us because sometimes you don't remember until it like you know something reminds you. Uh, there's a rumor that Apple's coming out with his own game console thoughts. Um, it'd be interesting if Apple stepped in. I think they're trying to do that with the Apple TV. At least what I've read is they're trying to make the Apple TV just kind of this extension to into your TV, and then all of a sudden, like, your iPhone or your iPad can become your controller. Um, but we'll see. Um, Alphabetter says, don't ignore the Ustream comments, Brian. I've actually been reading more Ustream than the YouTube one, so don't worry about that one. I'm not ignoring you guys at all. If your city was able to have an NFL team, what would it be? Well, LA doesn't have an NFL team, and I don't know how true this is or not, because I know I've heard it for a couple years now that like the Chargers might move here. Um, I don't know. We don't have that stadium yet, so it wouldn't be, you know, why have a team if you can't, you know, house them somewhere? And and I know that they've been, uh, they've had plans to make a stadium downtown, but that still has not happened. Uh, I know that I read an article like last week that you know the initial plans that they had to do something at LA Life fell through, uh, so we'll see what happens. Um, not fail well says, what did you find cool from E3? Did you think Oculus is overrated? I actually got to try both Oculus and Project Morpheus, and they are both really cool. Um, 
I will be, but the, the video of me trying out Morpheus is already up on the YouTube channel, so if you go to the YouTube channel and the TMZ, uh, the TMZ page on YouTube, there's a playlist called Geek Week, at, Geek Week at E3, and you'll see the thumbnail is me using the, uh, the Morpheus with the two move controllers, and, um, I'm still editing the Oculus video right now, and I was, I was just about to finish it before Dax came and said he couldn't make Dax chat, so here I am. Uh, let's update these comments. Uh, Brian, make your own gaming channel. <laughs> uh, I mean, that'd be cool. I don't know that there's a lot of time for me to do that, but, you know, if PewDiePie can make a gigantic empire like that, you never know. Um, Sally L, what is E3, by the way? Uh, it's the Electronic Entertainment Expo. It happens in downtown Los Angeles every year, and it's where all the big companies show off their new games and their new hardware and their new software and all that stuff. It's, it's pretty cool if you're kind of a dork like me. Uh, da, da, da. Jiggle, is he reading our text? I am reading your text. Don't worry about it, guys. There actually is a lot going on. Uh, in these text boxes and comments, and so I get what Dax means when it's like, ah, oh, I need this to slow down. Uh, P.S. says, which was be a better office, this new one or the old one? You know, I have fond memories of the old one because I was there for four years, and, you know, that's where I started, but I, I remember stepping into this office for the first time and just knowing that, like, this was amazing because this, you know, they built this office for us instead of us just being in an office space before, and there's... There's seriously no way I think any of us would ever go back. I mean, I might want to go back just because my apartment's right by the old office, but and now I kind of have to drive a little farther, but now it's fine. I love this place, and, and it's been great. Uh, let's see here. Oh, YouTube stopped updating. Alphabetter says, I, mu I must say I wouldn't mind a Brian chat on Friday's hint. <laughs> this is Dax's show, and I'm not about to step on his toes. Um, and he's been doing this for a long time, and... And, you know, a lot of people, he's grown a really big following through Dax Chat, and so I want to keep that Dax. I want to keep that his uh, his thing. Uh, P is asking, are you going to Comic-Con? I am going to Comic-Con this year. I've only been once before, and that's when I did stuff for uh, PlayStation uh, back in my college days. Um, but I will be going this year with our sister site, 2Fab, and we should have some really fun stuff. I'm still trying to come up with my costume because I think it'd be funny if I ran around with a camera in costume around the San Diego Convention Center. So if you have any ideas for costumes, uh, you know, I'd take some, uh, I'd take some uh, not hints, what's the word I'm looking for? Suggestions because I've kind of been out of the comic book world a little while besides seeing Days of Future Past, which that was such a great movie, but I wouldn't really call that, in, I don't know, some comic book hardcore people might be mad at me for saying that's comic. Uh, da, 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 um, uh, how's Assassin's Creed? The new Assassin's Creed, uh, I got to see Assassin's Creed Unity uh, at E3, and it's so cool. The crowds are so much bigger and livelier, and the parkouring is like, it's a rush when you're parkouring up and down. They redid the system in a really interesting way, so definitely I would say if you've liked any of the Assassin's Creeds before this one, this one, at least visually and gameplay-wise, what we've seen so far, looks really, really, really cool. Um, thoughts on the Brad Pitt altercation? Are you still talking about when that guy went at him and like broke, and his sunglasses ended up being broken? Um, I'd say that was kind of funny the first few times, but now it just seems to be going a little too far. And um, you know, I'd hate for someone to get hurt over that. It, it's good, you know, things are sometimes, like, they're good for a laugh, and we can all laugh about it, but sometimes it's like, you might be going a little bit too far, and, you know, I, I, I just don't want people hurt in any kind of process like that. Um, if you had your own music group, what would it be called? Hmm, I don't know. I took a music class in college to see, you know, if I had any kind of talent in music, and I don't. So I think since then I just don't even think about me being in any, in any kind of music thing because uh, I don't have that talent. But that also gave me such a huge respect for the people that do have this kind of musical talent. So uh, good good for all those musicians out there. appreciate that. Um, tell us some stuff about Dax he wouldn't tell us. Hmm... I don't know. Dax is pretty open with you guys, I think. Like, a lot more open than I think, you know, a lot of people would be. And, you know, he... I mean, I, I'm I kind of treating like you guys the same. That we're all just kind of friends chatting. So I mean, I think you guys actually might know uh, might know a lot more about Dax than I do. And I've been working on and off with Dax for like five years. So maybe there's maybe there's some things you can tell me that I don't actually know about Dax. 
Uh, you sound like you have a cold. Take better care of yourself. We miss you when you're gone. Uh, I don't have a cold. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I do, and you're just catching on to something I don't know yet. I've just, I'm just really tired from three days of E3, and I was carrying a lot of equipment and went rushing around and trying to keep appointments. And you know what? Maybe it is a cold because I was at a convention with tons and tons and tons of people, so God knows uh, what I would have touched and you know what I've been exposed to because that kind of just happens when you're around a ton, a ton, a ton of people. Uh, let's see. Even though you just had E3 fun, any big plans for the weekend? Uh, my cousin's graduating college, and so I'm really excited because this is going to be the first family member in my family since me to graduate college. So it's kind of going to be a really big family affair. I'm I'm pretty excited about that because um, I know that she's really worked hard for it, and and it's great. Um, let's see. Dun dun dun. Dun, dun, dun. Give me a shout out. My name is Gyro. I, I'm so. I hope I didn't slaughter that Gyro. Um, let's see. Dun dun dun. Dax has a Smurf tattoo and he won't. What? Kristen. No. Kristen says no. Kristen says that it is not true. <laughs> but that would be interesting. But then that would also be interesting. How do you know that? Somehow, she's telling me it's a weird myth that you guys have all been keeping up. That would be fascinating to find out if, although I don't know that I want to know either way or not. Uh, why don't you come on to the meeting with everybody? Uh, I'm assuming you're talking about the morning meeting. Uh, I'm usually, uh, I come in a little later than they, they're shooting the show, so I come in when they're halfway done shooting it because a lot of my YouTube job extends later than the shooting of the show and, and doing all the stuff on the website, so I'm actually here probably one of the latest people of everybody here just managing and working on the videos and everything because there's a lot that goes out on a lot of different networks. So I'm usually... In the first half of the meeting, I'm not here. In the second half, I'm usually like in the middle, deep of work because a lot happens, you know, in the morning when they post new stories, new videos, and I got to make sure that those videos are getting to the places they need to be. Um, let's see. Uh, what's up with Kim? Um, I haven't seen Kim since I left. Um, but, you know, she's writing and doing the show. I've always really liked Kim, and Kim didn't used to be a writer on the show. She used to do the promos department, but now she's a writer, and I thought that was, you know, really, really cool that we finally got her in there. And she, she's one of the funniest, and she's got, like, a, she's got by far one of the most inappropriate but hilarious humors, and I really appreciate that about her because she's not filtered or, or you know. She, she really much, she really owns her type of humor, uh, so it's great. Uh, Scott Donnelly says, you are awesome. A lot of people in this chat seem to be so rude. I don't know. I hope they haven't. I'll, you know, we, we're kind of like a big family here, and maybe some some of our inside jokes maybe come off a little too much, but, um, you know, it's because we're just such good friends and we're all around each other all the time. Sometimes it's just good to take a couple extra jabs at a really good friend that, you know, you wouldn't normally do with just anybody. Um, I dare you to prank on the blonde over there. I kind of forgot her name. I love her. Team Zio, the best and funniest. Thank you. And her name is Kristen, the one behind me, and she's uh, she's been an integral part of our YouTube strategy and working on YouTube. And I'm appreciative of her every day putting in all the work that she does to get uh, to get our YouTube stuff out there. Um, let's see. Kristen isn't saying no to the Smurf tattoo. She said no to revealing where it's located. No, she said it. She said it's some myth. Although I don't know. This is the first time I hear about this uh, this t this tattoo news and I'm kind of scared and don't want to get um, don't want to keep that subject going dude you should try to shave your beard ever thought of that um, I've actually only had this beard for about two years um, I just didn't care about shaving one January and then just um, didn't shave and then everyone was like oh I like it and so I went to Target and bought a trimmer and I've just kept the beard since I shaved it once for uh, when we were for, for Halloween because I dressed up as Cyclops and it's a really cool costume if you haven't seen the photo my mom my mom helped me on it like I love my mom she's always great for for helping me on some of the really nerdy stuff I do and the costume came out great but I remember when I shaved my beard it happened so quickly that like I was in shock because I kind of didn't recognize myself it was really odd so for anyone that might be thinking about shaving their beard, take it slow because it's you don't really identify with yourself afterwards. It's kind of weird. 
Um, let's see. Uh, Brian, please tell Mr. Gamer to stop with this spam. I don't, I don't see what you're talking about. Um, I'm sure the spam filter will catch it if it's, uh, if it's hard, uh, if it's bothering anyone. Um, let's see. Uh, I love your beard, says Jess Long Beach. Well, thank you. <laughs> uh, what do you think of Five Seconds of Summer's cover of Green Day? Uh, it depends on what song, but I mean. I enjoy covers. There's actually some really interesting covers that uh, I've enjoyed of really big I think stars. Something for the show. Oh gosh, they are. I might have to go silent for a little bit, real quick, if you guys don't mind being patient. Hold on, guys. I'll be back really quick. They're just doing something for the show, and we got to keep quiet for it. In case you just joined, they're shooting something for the show right now, guys, so I'm trying to keep quiet. I will re be right back as soon as they're done shooting. Dax is here, but they're still shooting for the show, guys, so hold on a second. Be back real soon, guys. They're shooting something. Sorry. And Dax is right here. He's very excited to see all of you. All right, we're going to turn it on. Who cares? Okay. Um, so Dax is very happy that you're all complimenting his his physique. Physique. All right, what do we got here? Let's see. Dax is looking more buff, see? Dax, see, you, should, you should stand out. up more instead of <laughs> sitting down. They can see, you know, the, the light's giving you some shadows there that are helping out. Uh, let's see. Maybe you guys should do your own room set for Dax chat. I we do wish. have a setup, but no. They're I not going to let me go not gonna walk into a back anywhere. room. Oh, look at what Kayan said. Oh. Brian, you do a really good job on the chat. Thanks for filling in for that. Yes, thank you, Brian. I had a I had a big meeting that I had to attend, so I'm sorry. Um, but thank you, Brian, for filling in, buddy. No, everyone's been so nice to me. I was just uh, telling you. Dax shelf with the baby gap. <laughs> it, uh, he he actually gets a very specific size called medium. He might get a small, uh, a large, Schmodium. a small large. Uh, oh, they keep asking about the food. We got, we got like chicken and like salad, chicken, salad and like wraps and good. little sandwiches and stuff. So, 
It wasn't too bad. Like Boobies, <laughs> says I am James. Did you, I hope you saw the I am James. I hope you saw the blooper reel, because Dax, that's Dax's favorite You know line. I met I am James the other day. Did you? Where? We ran into each other at uh, Third Street Promenade. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was very nice. He comes up, he's like, hey, Dax, I am James. And I was like, what's up, I am James? Is that how you say it on uh-huh. the chat? Oh. Please post the chat from today. Brian well, is Well, we're cute. shooting it right now. Do you hear about... I don't even know who that is. Excuse me. Um, Dax, they're just all top. They're all talking about you. What, what's your secret? Has it been a, the CrossFit? These are, these are my the homies, dude. These are my the, homies right have here. Have you been doing a lot of more parkour? Dax, I mean, get some bras. Haha. Ha. No offense. <laughs> um, I want to see Kristen. Yeah, Kristen came by twice. You know what they they asked me if I knew if since you were gone if I would tell them something you wouldn't say about yourself. But and then I was like, I think you guys know Dax better than I do. Probably. And they told me something about a an infamous Smurf tattoo. Do you mind explaining to me this? Aha! Uh-huh. Cool handstand picture says Abu. Look at him avoid that subject. Have wow. You guys, have you guys met Frank Darbont? I don't even know who that is. I don't know. There there may be some truth to this then, Dax, because you're not you're not talking. Can TMZ stop covering flat booty celebs? I don't know that we did. Oh, look at Sarah. What was your favorite game at E3? There are a lot of really amazing stuff there. Like Oculus and Morpheus, Morpheus were both amazing. I really liked the Dar- or, or, uh, Batman Arkham Knight was really, really cool. Um, so was Mortal Kombat X. That was really gruesome. The Order played really cool. The graphics on that were amazing. So was Entwined. Like, I like all kinds of games. So, like, you know, I've, I've got, like, a huge spectrum of my favorites from the event. Dax, do you know why Harvey just recently told a story about OJ? Brian wasn't sure because he wasn't there. Yeah, I wasn't here. Uh, just because it was uh, it's the uh, 20th anniversary That's of true. the OJ slayings. <laughs> it was the her. death of, uh, of Nicole Brown Simpson. It's the 20th he killed her. He was technically charged for killing her. He was let off on the, the murder charges, but then I think for the... Uh, I think it was like the killing charge he... You know, when they went back and I, I thought it, he, he, didn't, he didn't get criminal, but it was the civil lawsuit. Mm-hmm. Uh, someone just asked what the 47 on my hat is. I think that's just the brand of baseball hat. Cause it's Why just do people leave hat. the stickers on these days? Why, I don't know. And I just, I'm just leaving them on because now everyone does it. So I've just left them on. That. The which ones? Hold on. Hold on. We're talking booze. Let's see. Dax, no straight elbows. Huh. You have one space left on a lifeboat. There's Kristen and Crystal. Who drowned? Oh, don't make me answer that. I like them both. I, I would just jump off and let the let the girls live like Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, it was a boat and not a and not a door or whatever. Uh, let's see. Brian is the, I already answered that one. Parkour, you know, where the like the people jump across buildings and like run run across like walls and stuff. You know, parkour. Um, Dax's tight shirt is the best birthday present. It's still my birthday in your time zone. <laughs> You are loving this. How about you do some flexes? Take it off a little bit. Come on, Dax. Gee, just... Uh, apparently, this was the chacks you should have missed. They're probably going to be fine to use, I would think. Well, let's see. Was meeting your oh. Instagram... Wait, Dax, what do you think of Justin and Selena as a couple? Did you guys know they were back to... Um, we saw the photo that he posted of the two of them, but... Um, I mean, I don't really care that much. They go back and forth his, so often. His star has been falling. A lot of people aren't really caring. Yes, I'm a soccer fan. Fabiola. What did you do? I already read that. Dax, you should get the head lawyer on Dax Chat. Dirty D, D's boss. Dax. Dax, we've had him on before. When's Kim coming over with her awesome rack? Says Philly Man. <laughs> You guys. Oh, Dax, why is Dax wearing Skylar's shirt? <laughs> why are you wearing your daughter's shirt? I didn't think it was that tight. Mm-hmm. Uh, seems the higher Dax's hair gets, the better the build gets. It's an effect. Um, what are your guys' thoughts on the WWE guy coming out at such a late age? I guess he's been out for a while. Just He never said it like, publicly, like publicly, 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 but like but everyone still. else knew. But still. Read the damn YouTube comments. Dax, I saw a doppelganger of you, and he had hair like yours, but shorter. Why, why didn't you take a photo, Chaotic Wind? 
It's not real. It doesn't make photo. like I, I can't compare it if I ha if I don't see a photo. What's the thing we used to say? Not real till pick. It's not real until there's a picture. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm actually surprised. Says HR hashtag. Thanks. What's wrong with the chat yesterday? It wasn't the chat that was effed up. It was my computer. I don't know what the heck the deal was. I went to sign on, but the screens were black, mm -hmm. and which normally means I have to like either shut down or try to configure it again. Could not get it to work. Ended up having to shut down the computer. It was a 15-minute restart problem. It would not... My computer would just like spinning, spinning, <laughs> spinning, was not shutting down. Oh, my God. So by the time that it was actually back up was probably around 125, which was which is like too damn got late. Five minutes left, if that. Uh, let's see. Um, Dax Neal before the jiggle. I don't know. What does that even mean? I felt like he dodged the smart question. Did Stuart put any more glu glutton or gluten, gluten free, gluten -free. No, <laughs> treats but, for you in the break room? No. But I'm fine. I I, I bring my own food usually. Mm, what else? No. Can you please shout out to my friend David and his beautiful bride, Azumi? They got married three days ago. Congrats. What is what his name? Congrats, say, David and Azumi. People say, like, Mazel Tov, don't they? Mazel Tov. Tov? Yeah, oh, he was Tov. grabbing him. Dax would know. He's, he's more of a Jewish man than me. Uh, thoughts on the failed video? Oh, by the way, did you see the failed video on no. my Facebook? So, um, my, Dax Holt's hair posted a video on my Facebook page of him attempting to do the one-handed handstand that I took a selfie with. It's pretty awesome. Oh, no. <laughs> he, like, Did he at least fall and then, sideways and not on his head? And then, like, falls and then gets up and goes, now I'm going to do it on the other hand, and then goes and falls. It's pretty funny. Oh. How mean was I... Harvey to the one tour bus lady? It was pretty mean, but very funny. I missed it. All right. Shall we head out of here? 133. Uh, I have to finish my videos. Thank you, Brian, very much for holding down the floor while hopefully, I was gone. Hopefully and, um, I didn't nerd it up too much. I will see you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye. I'm surprised they're very nice to me. Yeah?